War 2 beta is coming to a close here this weekend for PlayStation 4 users only, but it does end up picking back up for PlayStation 4 users and Xbox One users next weekend, to which we'll have a little bit more to grind out in terms of ranking and all that kind of stuff. Xbox One users will start at level one, but stats will carry for PlayStation 4 users, so when they bump up that level cap increase to inevitably the end goal of 40 for the beta, there's still a lot of time you'll be able to play and actually rank up and have some meaning here to the playtime whenever you go and play this coming week. And as such, with something that I want to showcase a little bit because you guys absolutely killed and loved that PPSH class setup that we put up, I figured let's do another one here, but with one with for PlayStation 4 users, something you guys shouldn't sleep on. And then for those people that are jumping into the beta for the first time on Xbox One coming this weekend, you'll be able to shred almost immediately here with this. So that said, I want to give you guys the class that I definitely think you guys should test out if you end up using the grease gun at all. And this one being once again, that standard submachine gun that you get at rank one, definitely worth it giving it a shot here and trying to grind it out and getting some awesome gameplays right off the bat. So while yes, I know the grease gun is not necessarily the best SMG in terms of fan favorites, a lot of people will gravitate towards that Type 100, that PPSH, and even now as of recently, the WAF 28, but the grease gun is still rather solid. And thus, I do want to present to you that class that you should not sleep on. So let's jump right into the grease gun setup. The first and foremost, this is going to sacrifice a little bit of the meta built around for the SMGs because we're not going to end up using the airborne division. Instead, we're going to be running with the infantry division. That way we can end up rocking once again a third attachment rather than just the standard two that you get in every other division. You have to rank that up to, I believe, level two of your infantry division. So that's something that you play a couple games and you already have that out of the way. But that said, once you end up having those three attachment slots, we're going to end up allocating those in my case to quick draw, extended mags and grip. Now, that said, once again, some of these are going to require you to rank up the grease gun a little bit more than others, but as we've seen with other weapon progressions here within the beta, it's rather quick. Once again, only takes a few games, end up just getting a bunch of gun kills here with that, but within about the time frame of a half hour or so, I bet you get to rank it up to get all these different unlocks for your weapons. Now, one thing that I will say, though, about quick draw is that that's probably the most interchangeable one at the moment with the SMGs, simply because with the sprint out times and everything like that in World War II, at the very moment being rather high quick draw is rather ineffective in terms of running out of that instead whereas it's supposed to be an immediate flick up to your aim down sight it's something that takes still rather a little bit of time in the grand scheme of things so if you were to interchange one piece of the attachments here i definitely would say at the very moment get rid of quick draw and maybe say throw on rapid fire but as for the other attachments the grip i think is definitely one that is much needed because though the fire rates is slower than the other smgs making the recoil automatically more controlled Controllable, it still does have a little bit of vertical kick here that will kick you up a little bit and then over to the right also So that grip will decrease that a little bit and especially if you decide to once again sacrifice quick draw for rapid fire That's definitely gonna be a much needed attachment then as well So you can control that fully but extended mags is where I once again find a lot of comforts and a lot of solace with this specific attachment designation Simply because I don't have to reload every five seconds. I can pull off multiple kills upwards of four to five in succession maybe even more but if they're all grouped up or they're attacking me from multiple different angles i don't have to worry about reloading in between dodging those shots i can just turn one way flick to aim down sight get that kill turn around do the same thing to the other guy and i don't have to worry too much about running out of ammo or having to reload at any point in time during that so it's definitely something that i would rather have and i definitely would recommend but is, I guess, optional in the grand scheme of things. Now, as for the rest of the setup, because for the most part, that's the rundown of the grease gun, but everything else, I'll normally run forage once again, just because I love to have that ammo. I don't ever really like to end up having to come close to running out of ammo, but that could be potentially interchangeable with hustle or gunslinger or something else like that, that really just caters once again to that run and gun play style. Now, secondary wise, you can either use the 1911 or the PO weights. Really, they're both in my mind, not something that I touch necessarily, but it's not something where you can gain an advantage in terms of attachments or basic training or anything like that if you don't have it on. So whereas you just have a combat knife, I say just throw it on there because if you run out of ammo or you're in a pin situation, you can always swap your secondary if need be. But if you have it on, you can only gain from it. It doesn't really hurt your class setup or anything like that in the long run. Now, as for the grenade, I was doing a little bit of an interchanging between the actual lethal grenade and, of course, a tactical as well, that being a stun. Now, 
while messing around with this, trying to get a little variation here with it. In the footage you'll be seeing, I end up using a tactical, but I actually do much so more prefer the lethal, especially because you can end up taking people off of, say, hardpoint locations, head glitches if you can chuck it behind them, a lot more stuff like that. So I think that the lethal comes in a little bit more handy in this specific situation, but again, interchangeable. That said, that is the bulk of that class setup here, and one that I think that, again, is one you should at least test out, especially if you're jumping into the beta for the first time in this upcoming weekend here or if you've already played it a little bit and you still have a little bit of time tonight before it ends up going away in the morning that's something that again you can totally do that as well give that a shot let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below but personally this was one that helped me progress through the ranks tremendously so I would not sleep on this I'd give it a go if you end up moving on to bigger and better things in terms of weaponry that's totally cool but of course especially at those lower ranks this is one that I think can be able to carry you through that and still do incredibly well so that said hopefully you guys enjoyed once again let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below what do you guys think of this do you love it hate it think it's an awful class setup a great class setup whatever it may be let me know down there in the comment section down below but hopefully you guys enjoyed and if you guys did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to stay updated with everything we have here regarding call of duty world war 2 this first weekend is coming to a close with the beta but do not fret we have a ton of stuff still coming here within next weekend and also following all the way up throughout into the full release of the game so if any of that interests you make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a beat here but finally if you guys want to follow me over on twitter that's the best place to get cacked from outside of youtube but practically live on twitter so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be link is down there in the description below but all that's out of the way hope you guys have a fantastic day thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace